My name is Kelly Rowe, my daughter Molly Rowe is a longtime St. Dorothy's camper and then a counselor. And our family is friends of St. Dorothy's now. So I'm Marissa, I am a, a camp nurse here at St. Dorothy's. Mm -hmm. I've been coming here for 10 years for a special health camp for kids with transplants, um, ages 8 to 18 and they've had a transplant at some time in their life and we come here and we do the medical management for the children while they are able to enjoy summer camp activities. I am Kirsten Cotton Sheldon and I work at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital at Stanford and I'm the coordinator for the hospital for St. Dorothy's Rest. Um, Molly was, I want to say Molly was eight years old the first time Mary Burge <clears throat> at Packard approached us and talked about this wonderful camp for kids with transplants and um, how great it would be for Molly to go and she showed me pictures and she talked about how marvelous it was and I said Molly's not ready she's never been away from home she's shy she's quiet she's 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 just not ready and uh, Mary listened but then the next time um, she came back the next year with her photo album again and asked me again um, and told me more about this wonderful camp and all the friends she would have and the doctors and nurses that would be there and how safe Molly would be and I said well, she's not ready and uh, I and Mary persisted very gently as Mary can and uh, I said I'll ask her and then I asked Molly and Molly jumped at the chance to come to camp and it totally shocked me and that's when I realized Molly wasn't the one who wasn't ready to let Molly go to camp it was me one of the reasons I do camp or I enjoy doing camp is that I've, in my career, I've taken care of a lot of really, really sick kids. And for me, it's a way to really um, see that kids get better and that they can be normal and live normal lives. Camp or transplant camp um, has been a big part of my life for the last 15 years. It's kind of, I hold it deep um, kind of as a special treasure. She found a lot of kindred spirits up here and she wasn't different because she had scars or she had to take medications and that never bothered her. I don't think she was ever self-conscious about it when she was at home with her friends who didn't but I think when you've got something wrong with you medically um, it makes people uncomfortable and I think even loving people who feel sorry for you, pity, pity isolates you and um, she she had friends who were empathetic and sympathetic and shared her stories and shared her experiences and because it was common it wasn't the focus you know they they got to just be kids together and um, and she got to be independent and goofy and playful and camp provides them the opportunity to be kids to be kids at camp playing creating friendships and bonds and that's really makes me feel better about what i do and um how and that I can give them this opportunity to have a normal life and have go to summer camp and help with their medical um, needs while they're here. I was looking at her photos and there's a picture of her when she's maybe nine and right behind her is a girl named Amanda who was one of her lifelong friends. Um, I've watched I've watched those kids grow up together in the pictures and their kidney transplants, their liver transplants, and their heart and lung, and they would have never, ever, ever met if it hadn't been for here. Even though they all went to the same hospital, they would have been going to different clinics on different floors on different days. They may have passed each other in the hall and never, ever known, but because of their sharing time here at St. Dorothy's, there are these amazing, lifelong, tight, tight, tight friendships that formed around this. And it was the most amazing gift um, ever that I never expected. I wanted her to have a nice time in the sunshine and camp and hike and, and instead she found this, this community that extended beyond St. Dorothy's. She went on her first road trip with girls from St. Dorothy's Wells. It was a tremendous gift. The first time I ever started to learn how to let Molly go was here. And it was good. It's hard when you um when your child has been threatened like that. I think it's even harder to release them. You know, you want to hold them close, you want to watch them. You want, and I think that a lot of children, a lot of parents who have had children with a health scare um, have a hard time allowing the children to go experience life the way a child ought to.